Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2 The Sith Lords. This will be part 33 of our Let's Play. In the last episode, we were exploring through. Oop, I don't want to smash that if I can avoid it. Okay, I can't avoid it. Now we're exploring through the docks area of Narshadar. And uh, more or less just seeing what we can steal. Ooh. Barando sages are the most elite of their order, able to see into the future of the past and across the entire galaxy. Barando are force-sensitive mem members of the Keldor race. They seek inner peace and are very patient, consulting with force before making decisions. So, no max dex bonus, but... This does have way more wisdom, which I think is what we want. That's what we're going to do. We're going to change your robe. Uh, right, no one else can wear robes yet. But yeah, like, sweet robes? From the Dock Authority, if so, I say twice, I'll not pay the departure fee. So if you'll take money, blast point. Uh, I'm not from the Dock Authority, what do you mean? Dock Authority is a second voice of the exchange. They charge high cred for leaving and entering the Dock area. I was able to Dock, but when I arrived, I found my contact was not here. The dock Authority will impound my ship unless I can get enough credits to pay to leave. Let's see if I can help. I'll go see the Dock Master. Thank you, man. The Dock Master is far so I will not forget you interceding on my behalf. Out of curiosity, what is your cargo, Lassavu? Transporting cryogenic power cells, a large shipment. Again, I thank you for your help. Could I have one of your power cells? Uh, if you can help me, I will get one. Cool. I'll let you know what happens. I'm sure I can help them. Knock, knock. Ooh, a backpack. Ooh, a lot of stuff in a backpack. Neat. Uh, open. Ooh, Lutra. Talk to you in a sec, just gonna steal all your stuff first. Hello there. I don't know who you are, but you picked the wrong room to break into. Uh... Okay, sorry, I didn't know anyone was in here. No harm done. For a minute, I thought you might have been someone else. What do you mean? My wife, Ada. There's a chance she may be here on Nar Shadda. A lot of refugees ended up here after the Jedi Civil War. I came here to see if I could track her down. Isn't the she one is, of the refugee sector? The refugee yeah. Sector. And even if I could, I'm not sure I could find her. I've been here for weeks, hoping to see her face. Well, she's definitely there. What I've done is watch my credits burn away to nothing. Uh, I ran into a woman named Ada in the refugee sector. What? Is there any way to get her out? Uh, I'm working on it. I'll return when I have more. I can't believe she's still alive. This is the best news I've heard in years. Please, whatever you can do, I'd appreciate it. I mean, I've already... Let's do something about the exchange guards. I mean, I've already basically killed the exchange in there, but... Hmm. Anyway. Ah. Magnetically sealed storage door locked from the inside. I'm sure that won't come up later in the story. Wink. Uh, meanwhile, talk to the Dock Master. And I guess we'll keep exploring around. There's no reason to rush and, uh... And... And run back to the refugee sector. Me for a reason? I have a lot of work to do! To manage here, right? So... What is it? Uh, could you help transport a family to Teos? What? Do I look like a passenger ship to you? Stop bothering me! Okay. I want to talk to you about Lassavo. The Ithorian? Nothing to talk about. He paid docking fee. He go. Uh... Is there any way I... Actually, no, how much does he owe? Ethorian owes 600 credits. Why? Does he owe you money too? Uh... Is there any way I can convince you to forget about the debt? Forget? Mm, yes. Fast I can forget. You pay debt, and I forget. 600 credits, or... Maybe you help okay. with something. That we can do. Uh, what do you need help with? Pylon power supply badly damaged. Only can support one pylon at a time. Can't bring freighters in fast enough. You help.
Help bring freighters in. Fasa help Ithorian. Okay. Uh. Well, I suppose cargo is cryogenic power cells. Will those help? Cryogenic power cells, you say? <sighs> Ithorian gives Fasa some power cells, and Fasa let him go. Agree? Uh, I think Wasp will accept that deal. Great! Good! You go tell him, right? Uh, I'll let him Great! Go. Good! What else? Eh, nothing. I uh, will go... Uh, I'll just go back now, I guess. I guess I'll go back later, but... I'm, like, right here. Because I wanted to go check out the... Uh, because we were supposed to go to, like, Pylon 1, right? To go and find out what's going on with the weird signal. Uh, Fast says that he'll let you depart if you give him some of your power cells. This is good news. This is a good trade. Here is power cell as I promised. I'll be on my way. Good luck, Lassavo. Cool. Cryogenic power cell. So... And now I guess we're going to go check out the pylon. We might use a cryogenic power cell somewhere. Can we actually use that in lightsabers? I don't think so. Don't believe so, but maybe. Uh, so this must be pylon 2. Which it certainly is. Uh, examine freighter ID signatures. Read the ID signature of freighter Silver Zephyr. So we 967. Tortoise Profits. Freighter Alicandor, okay. Assign freighter priorities. Restricted Dog Master Fasa. Ah, okay, so that's like, if I was going to help him, I guess, I would be giving permission. But I don't have to. Unless I can still help him. Hang on. Fasa. You are interrupting him if... Uh... Who do you work My for? My boss is the Hut Voga. I oversee the docks for Voga's freighters. Right, how is business these days? You not from here? Business bad. Freighters get hijacked, no trade gets through, and they can't get fuel from Sleheron. Fuel reserves building up there. Okay. Who's hijacking the freighters? Goto and his exchange hijacks Vogger's ships. Hurts business. I thought Vogger is in the exchange. Why is Goto hijacking the freighters? For money, I assume. <clears throat> We don't know how he does it. Every ship we send out, he gets. Hmm. I'd like to ask you about something else. Fine, but you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, actually, don't worry about it. I don't think I need access to the... To the, uh, what's these now? The consoles. I'm guessing this must be the Jack Jack Tar, since it's got bounces out the front. Oh, looks like the Jedi raised their standards. Huh. Who are you? Hanhar. I thought I smelled something. I've told you before, hunt your own targets. Don't scavenge mine. You're my prey female, always. What, working for the hut suddenly made you stupider, Hanhar? You touch me, you'll break the truce. And then you won't last long enough to slip off this moon. Maybe forget the truce for a while. Go mad. Forget rules. Ooh. Maybe seeing your bones break, seeing you in pain, will be all I need to see before I die. And the life debt over, and I can be at peace. Oh. Warn me of what? Warn me you trick me? Warn me you violate life debt? Little human girl, debt, something, something. Hanhar. I told you. A little girl should not have made mistakes so long ago. And Kashyyyk, females who make mistakes die. Hanhar smells your fear, in through the stink of the moon. Yeah, you're right. I'm afraid. I'm afraid if you keep crushing me, I'll accidentally set off my rocket charges and blow us both to now Hutta. Are you ready to finally die? I do not think so. Your eyes show you are filled with fear. I'd rather die than be caught by you again, Hanhar. It's not time for you to enter the Shadowlands. When it is, I'll be there. I'll close at your throat and I'll stare into your eyes as you die. Wow, brutal. Guessing he's not... Guessing he's not nice. He's not good, old Han Ha. 
I do like an evil Wookiee. Uh, I'm guessing that's your courier or whatever we were bringing here. This must be the contact you're supposed to meet. The body has been stripped of the package you were to buy for the Bith scientist. Whoop. Okay, the door is shut. Hello? Whoop. Are the cleaning droids attacking me? I mean... It's a cleaning droid. I'm sure I can handle it. Wow, he's got a lot of health for a quote-unquote cleaning droid. Feels more like he is a droid that is cleaning, not a cleaning droid. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah, I'm guessing this must be the Jek Jek Taba. That's Vogger's Enclave. This must be up here. Uh, what is this? Low security door. Locked. Yeah. Fair enough. Don't know what I expected. Alright, but interesting. So, obviously, whatever's going on, they're, like, listening to... They're either tracking that guy, or they're tracking the scientist, or they're, like, listening to communications, I suppose. Ooh. With arm holding data pad. Jeez. Found signal. Droid attack me. It's leading my data. We'll try to get a work. Log interrupted. Okay. Wait, there was a droid in here? Was there a droid in there? I don't think there was. Alright. What have we even got here? That one we can't do. Uh, Yeah, that's basically done. Third challenge was first truly worthy to fight you. Okay, it's a battle circle, that's fine. Master of Rook. Okay, cool. Master of the Palace. I need to return to Duxon for that one. Gentile, we can change Emmon Hawk's ID signature. You'll need to bring him either a transponder card from another ship or a blank transponder card and the new signature you wish to use. Okay. Uh, Gita offered the same discount Undar did in exchange for allowing her to remain in business. Uh, sure. Uh, Lost Jedi, Vogger's Dancers. The Twilight Domo in the Canteen and Sector Hub mentioned that their master, Vogger the Hut, is searching for a new dancer. He said that there would be a fee paid if he could find a woman that met his standards. I wonder if Pfizer's will do it. And that one. Okay, so I don't really know what I'm going to do here. I think the only lead I've got at the moment is that dancer. So I think we're going to go back to the refugee sector. We'll get the, um, we'll get the Watsy, the woman back to her husband or whatever. And then we'll go to the entertainment area and we'll temporarily sell Visus into a Vog of the Hut's employee for dancing or something. She's a... We just got oop. this message on the comm link. Looks like trouble. Oh, interesting. I think this is something everyone will want to hear. Um, gather them and I'll join you shortly. The droid's the one who picked up the oh, message. Okay. He's got it all ready to display. This message takes someone reaching you, but I only recently became aware of your presence on Nashadar. I'm Visquis, representative of an exchange of shipping interest here on the Smuggler's Moon. Sending invitation to you to join me in my private lounge within the Jack Jack Tar, where we may speak without being disturbed. We should discuss something of mutual interest concerning your past profession and prospects of the future. Oh, do come alone. One human in my presence is more than enough. Wow, he makes it sound so appealing. Well, good thing it's not a trap. Yeah, exactly. No hmm, just come alone. I think it may be a trap. Could you please lighten up for one second? <laughs> it may be a trap. Go on. Traps work both ways. This visquis. His kind is spread through the lower reaches of Narshadar, and he may have information. Mm. But the choice is yours. If you go, you will have to go alone. Uh, where's Jack Jack? Uh, no, I'll okay, go. Well, I wouldn't keep him waiting. If you got his attention, you probably attracted the attention of someone else. Fair enough. Oh, I'm just going straight away. Okay. Fair enough. Main news from the scout. Last news I heard, the Jedi was back on a piece of junk they call ship. Keeps coming back and forth. Very tiring to watch. Very frustrating. We Zugs are big time bounty hunters. Very important. Very famous. 
the entire comes to us for collection, then we can do nothing except sit here. Feel as if I'm back on the Labour Commission on Jewels. One of the reasons we started affecting policy change with our blasters. The scouts reported back with very strange news. The exchange has arranged a meeting with the Jedi. Interesting. I don't understand why they would do that. I thought they wanted to watch us, see if the Jedi could attract other Jedi. This Jedi caused so much trouble, Godo got tired of it. Maybe they find other Jedi. No, it's obvious what Godo intends to do. Godo intended to hire us to drive the Jedi to Nashadar. Now the Jedi is here, Godo doesn't need to pay us anymore. He'll try to capture the Jedi himself. We cannot attack the Jedi. Godo will put bounties on all our herds. Then we'll take the Jedi's companions and the Jedi's hot ship hostage. Interesting. I don't think that will be as easy as you think it will. Uh, can I... Oh, I can still equip more people. Okay, so we're gonna... Oh. No, I guess I can't. I suppose we are headed to the Jack Jack Tar then. Alrighty. Here we go. Uh, so that is to the north, correct? I believe that's over this way. Yeah, to the docks. Oh, Atten, howdy. Hey, look, I wanted to tell you. Be careful. I won't be able to contact you via the comm link if something happens. And I'm betting that Squidhead knows it. Hmm. Um. Appreciate the warning, Atten, thanks. Look, take these. They're healing packs. If your suit gets breached, you'll need to inject them fast if you don't want your lungs to see My them. suit. And trust me, once the seizures start, you'll be dead. My suit. My, uh... My Jedi robes. Uh... That's comforting. Alright, thanks. Watch yourself, and don't be too long. I'll keep an eye out here until you return. And I know just the place. Fair enough. You're heading to the bar, aren't you? You hang to a bar, aren't you? Hmm. So oh my god! Why does everyone keep interrupting me? Doesn't look so tough to me. I thought you Jedi were supposed to be smart, and here you are running around Narshida, sticking your lightsaber into everyone's business. Yeah. Are you planning to save everyone I mean, on this moon? You're attracting more attention than a fleet of Sith warships. Like I can handle it. Uh, what's it to you? I'm Mira. I'm the best bounty hunter in this system, and that's not me bragging. That's fact. I had you in my sights ever since you landed. I've been watching you run all over the and? refugee sector like a bantha, and for someone with a price on their head as high as yours, you sure don't know how to keep a low profile. Look, ah, don't need I to. I'm a Jedi. I head Visquis sent you a message to meet him in the Jack Jack Tar. He works for Godo, and it's a trap. Yeah, obviously. He's gonna lure you in there, start a fight, and then he's gonna wrap you up and deliver you to Goto, dead, claiming you attacked him. Uh. Got anything else obvious to say? Just this. I know you're meeting with Fisquis. If I know about it, yes, that means I, I know we just covered that. Knows about it, or will soon enough. And when that happens, the bounty hunter truce is off. That means things are gonna get real ugly real quick. Uh. Yeah, let him come after me. I'll survive this long. No, I don't think you get it. They're not gonna come after you. I think your friends are the ones in trouble. Ah, that's fine. Again, I don't think that's going to go as well as they think it will. Well, this should oh. beats staying on the ship. It's Atten. A few drinks to keep me on my toes, a few games of Pazak to keep the mind alert. Should be enough to keep me out of trouble until our fearless leader straightens things out. Ah, these two. Give me a hit of Juma and keep them coming. Well, looks like staying on the ship was a bad idea after all. That's what I love about Narshada, the company. <laughs> okay. So, I don't think I caught your names. Uh, you two work here? Or? I know more. Yeah? What happened to your master? <laughs> Rinfiloso ni hekuchupa nanret atamakcha. Wanatu mobayes? 
I'm gonna smuggle as much. Swimming for something. Pap sauce. No, actually, I'm here protecting someone, keeping them out of trouble by acting as a distraction for people looking to harm her. <laughs> because with assassins like you two running around Narshida, I think you're another problem my friend doesn't need. <laughs> assassins. He needs one who kills for money. He doesn't understand. You only wish the exile. Submit, or else we shall kill you and find other bait. <laughs> Why don't you two shut us try it and we'll see what happens? That's what you wish and we shall end you. It's been too long since we've killed. Oh. Ooh. Did a little fancy dive there. That's very fun. Uh right. How are we gonna handle this? I'm thinking maybe Well first okay, there we go. I need him to go aggressive. Uh, and doesn't have any powers. Are we just not giving him any? Oh he's only like a level two sentinel. Okay, yeah, he's Kinda of sh shite. Uh, barrier. Which one's barrier? That is the one that protects you from piercing, right? Uh, slash and budging piercing, yeah. Good. We'll do force barrier and then we just start blasting, I think. Okay, we're. What's oh no Jedi support? Okay, we don't we don't need that. Uh yeah, that's fine. Okay, we need like some life support packs and shit if we need it. God, Atten, what have we given you here? Can I equip you with a lightsaber as a backup? No. Maybe we want to though. Ah, uh, he's not very good at it, though. We just need to pierce the shields. Ow, ow. Ow, ow. I mean, he's not doing terribly, though. Like, we have enough advanced med packs, I think we can do this all day. Ooh, unless we get hit like that again. I mean, it's, it's not a great... It's not a great, uh, speed up we're doing here. We are beating them, barely. Okay, I've got the Mandalorian melee shield. On. Oh yeah, okay, now that I've taken out their shields... They are just getting blasted. Joke's on you, Mandalorian Melee Shield. <laughs> Should've just turned this on from the beginning. Alright, get through the shield. There we go. You know what? Mano y mano. Let's do it. I mean, I've still got the blasters, but... You know what I mean. No, no shields. Just legit and powers. It's not a shield. It doesn't count. Well, Easy. The bounty hunter truce is off. That means this place is going to get real bad, real fast. I better get back to the ship. Warn the others. Are the others having their own problems? I don't know the why gang. Jedi would come here. There's so much noise on this. Like the gang just squares off. It makes detecting a Jedi difficult. Yeah. But to be in a place where one drowns in the Force, why would a Jedi wish that? A simple question to which I ask another. Why should a Jedi want to hide? Yeah, I mean, you know, hey, something dangerous is hunting you. What are you talking about? What is wrong? The truce between the bounty hunters in Narshada is off. There's going to be a war. A trap uh, looks like there's already a war enough, forming behind you. Hunters on your back is something else. She was told to meet alone. We cannot disrupt their meeting until the alien reveals the information he has. Look, we need to move. They're coming after us, not the exile. If they are coming after us, then they will uh, be after again, her as well. Again, they're definitely we need back to go and there. Rescue her. We can yeah, see them. Right. But I'm guessing we're in a lot more trouble is than she is. Is everyone blind? 
Well, yeah, obviously. Oh, look, refugees here on the landing pad. Are you lost? Well, perhaps you've lost your criminal Jedi exile leader. Perhaps that is more likely, yes. Very. I'm Azanti Zook, leader of Zooks. Very powerful, very skilled hunters. It would be very smart of you to tell me where the criminal Jedi has gone, and do speak very quick. My patience is very low. Anybody here catch that? All I understood was very. I think he wanted us to give up the general to his poorly trained collection of bounty hunters. <laughs> wow, well, that would explain it. Rough. Which one do you want? I'll take the stupid one who decided to threaten us rather than shoot us when he had the chance. Also, yeah, they should have brought like twenty to thirty more guys. That's a lot of our crew, and most of our crew are badass. This is one of my safe houses. It's it's not too pretty to look. Oh, at, is this gonna be in the uh, the cupboard that, that we couldn't get into? Uh, I'm guessing the stench is what keeps intruders away. Yeah, well, it's one of those trade-offs. All the freighter exhaust from the docks, you know. Some aliens actually like breathing it, if you can believe it. Uh, I don't. The smell doesn't seem to bother you much. You could say I've gotten used to it. This is actually perfume compared to how the rest of the docks smell. All right, so why'd you bring me here? You know, Visquis is arranging a trap for you in the Jek Jek Tar. No surprise there. Thing is... He intends to cut the bounty hunters out of the loop and deliver you to Goto personally. Hm. Not smart from where I'm standing. Yeah. Um, what are you going to do about it? Well, for one thing, you're going to stay here and I'm going to meet with Visquis instead. Uh, that's some imagination you've got. Actually, you really don't have much choice. That smell you noticed when you came in? Yeah, it's filtering through your lungs right now. You gasp. Anybody me. without olfactory blockers like I have is going to start feeling dizzy and eventually fall unconscious. Good night, Jedi. Let me just take that environment suit and I'll be back soon. Oh, yeah, right, because we can't breathe on the Jack Jack Tar, so I guess we have to wear like a. a whole, um. what, like a space suit? Yeah, basically a space suit. Cool! I mean, it's a solution. It's chosen to come after all. Seal the answer to the Jack Jack Tar. Unlock the sequencer to the private chamber. We'll meet the human there. I brought the Jedi to you. Where is Goto? You shall be compensated, Han Ha. The trap's not yet sprung. Till then, I request your patience. Oh, interesting. We're leveling up Mira. So she's definitely a new companion. Ooh, uncanny dodge. Where's that? Oh, here. That's oh, a scout thing. Character with uncanny dodge two retains a dexterity bonus to defense even when surprised by camouflage opponents, and also gains plus four on saves versus grenades. That's pretty cool, actually. Um, we'll give her dueling. We'll make her like a melee fighter. Uh, just give me the recommended. Yeah, dex. See. That's what I thought would happen. So scout's like the in-between class. You have soldier scout and scoundrel. Uh, so light armor, that's probably fine. We might just go dueling again. And yeah, that's probably fine. Might give it like one. Actually, wait, hang on. Maybe we should take uh, weapon finesse. With swords. Is that a thing we can actually take? Let's focus. No, maybe we can't take weapon finesse. Ooh, that's a bit unfortunate. Um, actually it's fine. It's probably a fighter or a scoundrel skill. We'll just take master dueling then. Uh, finesse would be nice, but it's not not required. Um, yeah, see, she like doesn't have a lot of blaster stuff, but she has some melee stuff, so... Actually, she has a bit of blaster stuff, I guess. Um, in that case, we might take the close combat or toughness. I should take toughness. Always a good skill to have. Also, I might be doing this for a little while, because obviously she starts like level 6 or something. Tiny four, that's fine. Uh, we'll probably get to level two toughness, I think. And then that will do us on toughness for the moment. 
Combat skills, feats. Uh, we'll take the close combat for blasters. She'll be a bit of a, a like a both type deal, I think. She'll have a bit of everything. I don't want to upgrade her to medium armor. I think maybe we just go for better critical strikes. Just in case I can get it high enough that I can do stuns. Because those stuns are brutal. If the attack hits target, it's also stunned. If it quadruples the critical threat range of melee attacks. If the attack hits, the target's also stunned for 6 seconds unless they make a fortitude save, yeah. Oh, it's against a strength modifier, though. Hmm, it's probably not super likely that I'll get that off. Because, sorry, what was her... Hang on. What's her strength modifier? Zero. That's not great. <laughs> Alright, give us some... I can't even change anything on... No, oh, that's annoying. Okay. Well. Guess we'll start walking. I think I remember which way we're going here. We go this way, right? Celestin. Why are you here? How many humans come to check the tower? What's in favor of you? Uh, sure, what is it? I'm a grand warrior on Nashadar. He's even this very room. I wonder if you might find his name for me. Uh, which Gand is it? They are curious people. They are very humble and always speak of themselves in third person. Talk all the Gand, but cannot determine which is the warrior. Fetch enough, I find that his name. Thank you, human. Sure. Uh, can I do it later? And also, when it's, like, my main character, not... Not Mira. Because, uh, she's not, you know, anywhere near as important. Oh, you finally arrived. Please, come in and remove the cumbersome suit. The air here is quite suitable for your kind. You won't be taken aback by my hospitality. I assure you, no one will harm you as long as you are my guest and we keep things cordial between us. Aha! Wasn't the Jedi. <laughs> you! Good eyes, Hanhar. No wonder you're still number two on Nar Shadda. Strain yourself, Hanhar. There's no need for violence. Tell from a conversation this is not the Jedi invited here. It's difficult for me to tell. The humans will sell it back to me. I should care to explain what I owe the honor of this visit and where I might find the Jedi. Yeah. And maybe you'd like to explain why you've decided to backstab Goto and claim the Jedi for yourself. Ah, what a prime example of human arrogance. What you know is substantially less than what I know. Otherwise you would not have come. One, everything that goes on in the Jack Jack Tower is invisible to Goto. Something I discovered by accident and have tested many times to ensure accuracy. Second, I am not acting on Goto's orders. Not anymore. Hanhar and I reached an agreement to deal with Goto together and collect a tidy sum from Voga. You signed on with Voga the Hut? Visquis, you're dumber than I thought. There's no way Goto won't find out. You might. It's possible. There's a risk I'm willing to take. You see, Voga is very tired of having his freighters hijacked by Goto. It is causing his word to have less weight on Nel Hutta. There is a leak in his operations here on Nashadar. Rather than simply find the leak and eliminate it, his anger has compelled him to eliminate the source of the irritation altogether. Unfortunately, Goto is very careful about showing himself to others. Voga's employer, Hanha, employee Hanha discovered this when he attended the gathering on Goto's yacht. It's always holograms with Goto. Always. But I have a suspicion that Goto will reveal himself to a Jedi. When that happens, that is when I intend to strike. Unfortunately, it is clear he will not reveal himself to a two-credit bounty hunter with the audacity to try and strike a deal with me. So please, tell me where the Jedi is. I'm not the mood for negotiation. Yeah, right. I'm not telling you where the Jedi is. It's my bounty. And that means she's under my protection. Okay, is that how that works? How predictable. Very well. Yeah, I mean... Take her away. It looks as if you'll not be getting a Jedi this day. Uh, Hanha, please, calm yourself. The Jedi was on the way to meet us on the sidetrack. Must be patient. If she is a Jedi, perhaps she'll come for her out of some misguided sense of protectorship. If not, then she'll come to meet with me, and we may strike another arrangement. Yeah, I don't know what she expected. She knew that was a trap to go there and talk to him, so I don't know what that was, to be honest. But anyway... I know you can hear me. The numbness you feel. Ah, this must be our Jedi soul, Master. But not before we've spoken. When I first heard you were a Nar Shadda, I didn't quite believe it. I didn't think anyone could track me here. But I see, I underestimated you. I've watched you as you have traveled the refugee sector. I've seen what you have done, what I refused to do. Even exiled, you are more a Jedi than I. If anything, Know that your actions have convinced me I can stand by and watch no longer 
while the exchange closes its grip on this sector. I know a young woman went to meet with Visquis in your place. He will not negotiate with her. He will kill her. <laughs> I intend to rescue her. I will return shortly, or not at all. If you have come to this moon for answers, or for revenge, then you will follow me. For if I fail, then you will be denied both. Fair enough. I, I guess I will follow. But anyway, guys, we are going to leave this episode here. So thank you very much, everyone, for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more content from me, the Aussie Nerd, feel free to subscribe to my channel and check out the videos on there. If you think you know, uh, know any friends that might enjoy my content, make sure you share a video or two with them. I really appreciate it. And finally, if you want to leave any hints, tips, tricks, feedback of videos, or you just want to say hi, make sure you do so in the comment section down below so I can see it. I'll see all of you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.